In a previous video, I was working with this bearing driver and its intended purpose is to press in this bearing. However, I think I've pressed that bearing in a little bit on the deep side. And that's a concern because if that bearing doesn't run in the right spot, it could make that bearing run on uh, towards the edge of that bearing surface of that shaft. So, and I th see what I think the problem is, I uh, didn't get that uh, shoulder on that driver made big enough. So there's a shoulder there, but it's not really that much of a shoulder. So, and then that shoulder bottomed out kind of towards the uh, inside of that taper. So I've got another one here and it's got a bigger shoulder on it. And that should uh, keep that bearing from being driven in as deep as what that one is. I'm going to go ahead and uh, push that bearing out of there and together with it comes this, uh, it's like a frost plug. So on the back side that plug is visible and I'll just use a socket to press against and that should uh, slide that bearing and plug out of there. This driver is actually designed to press in the bearing and the plug at the same time. However, I'm going to do them separate. I'll do the plug first and then followed by pressing in the bearing. So that plug is only pressed in part ways and now I want to install this used bearing and I've got material removed off the outside of it so it's no longer a press fit. I can lay it in on top of that plug and so now this driver will be centered nicely in there and uh, now I want to finish off that plug so I'll press this driver down until it bottoms out. So now I want to press in the new bearing. And I'll use this driver as a visual guide to see that it's starting off fairly straight. And I'll, I'll press it a little bit and uh, release and then have another look and uh, try to s get it started fairly straight. So I was just checking to see if it's going in straight and I had my uh, finger in here like this and I was turning it just to see if the driver is leaning off to one side. It does seem that it's slightly tighter in this area here so I, I put a mark 
and what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll press a little bit more but off to this side a little bit and I'll drive it in a little bit more and see what happens So I can see that bearing has a ways to go in yet and when I tested it now by spinning it with the driver in there I couldn't detect really much difference if anything at all it was actually an improvement and it may actually be perfect it's so you know it's I think it's really good now but ultimately it's not the way I press it in that makes it true in the housing it's when this when the shoulder of this driver bottoms out in the housing that's what is supposed to true the bearing in there so I'll just finish it off pressing I think that turned out all right so the bearing it feels uniform in depth compared to the housing when I spin it like this and it's basically flush now so I think that should work all right okay guys so that's another video so thanks for checking it out